All right, so what we're doing today is installing some diode dynamics, RGB, W rings for the halos, and some demon eyes for the center projector there. I know this lens is all scratched up. When we're done, we're gonna polish this out and re-clear it so that it'll look nice and brand new. For a 2011 Chevy Camaro, so we already went ahead and used the heat gun to remove the lens. And we cleaned out all the old sealant inside of the channel right here. So you want to make sure you clean that out. You can use a heat gun, warm it up. Once it gets warm, it gets kind of stretchy and it'll release off the plastic. And then you just take your time and, and peel it out with like a flathead screwdriver or something. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this projector off. Now to take this off, you just got to be careful. You're going to pop it off right here, right here, and right there. It's just a little ball kind of swivel in the back there if you can see it. It's just popped in there. So you just want to use steady pressure, hold it steady, and pull, and then pop. Same thing over here. You're going to put some steady pressure on it, and then pop it right out. Like you're dislocating a joint. It's pretty much what you're trying to do. You're going to pull that out, and then you're going to sep we'll separate the lens. Okay, I want to show you. I got two out of the three off already. So you see it's a little ball. It just pops in the back of here. You're going to make sure you don't pull it too hard, or you'll pop one of those little things in there. So I've got one. Got two off. Now I'm going to wiggle it off and get the last one off pretty carefully. And then that should come right out. Right, now we're out. So, didn't break anything. Now we've got the projector with the, H, with the HID in the back. So we're going to pull this bulb out carefully and then we're going to remove these four torque screws off of it to separate the lens from this bracket here. So now we took the bulb out. Now you want to disconnect this, how this electrical connection right here, which goes to the motor. There's a little motor in here, right there that levels the lens out. So just pull that clip out. And we're gonna plug it back in when we're done, so don't mess it up. So we're gonna remove these four torques right here, the little silver ones. It's a T15. Take them out one by one them to the side and then your lens to release off okay this is the backing part of the lens this is like the reflector back and then here's your projector okay be careful with this don't scratch it go ahead and sit it down like this so now this is what we need right here so now we're going to be taking our diode dynamics LED RGBW board and now basically what this has to do is it has to sit inside of the lens so this isn't an H1 housing but this is an H1 bracket that they send with us so we're gonna have to modify a little bit it doesn't line up with these these holes right here so basically it's trying to sit it has to sit facing inside of it so it's gonna want to go on there something like this okay but I have to flip this around all right so we've got our Diode Dynamics RGBW board, and it's going to go inside of here. So, pretty much what we're trying to get it to do is sit in here like this. Sit right here at the top of it. Okay, and then from there, this part is going to sit inside of the lens. Let's see if I can show you. So the lens is going to end up coming back over and it's basically being like this. So you won't see it, but it will be inside of the lens and it's going to shine inside of there and it's going to glow the color that we need it to. So now because these don't line up with the holes right here, what we're going to have to do is, it doesn't line up. So we're going to have to make our own new holes in it and screw it down. So we have our little bracket modified. We made two 1 8 holes right there, and then we cut off the end piece because it was going to conflict with this hole right here, which is with the lens screws back on. So now we've got two new holes right here. We're going to take the supplied bolts and the little lock nuts and bolts. We're going to bolt this together. Make sure that your RGB chip is facing down. This is the top. and says right here, top. So make sure it's facing down so that it'll fit inside, and of course you're going to test fit your lens. Okay, the chip is now installed. Looks nice. Make sure it's secure. Make sure your nuts are tightened on there. Now we can put back on our lens and our housing. And we have our projector back together. Put the four screws back on there. 
Make sure you run the wire out the top right here. You run the other wire out the hole that it's supposed to be in. And then we can put our headlight bulb back in. Now, what I did notice on this one was there was some burning. The inside of this chrome piece, the chrome was kind of dark and black already. It just it gets really hot in there. So you want to make sure that this lens, the, the new chip, isn't touching anything um, because it will get hot in there. You don't want it to get hot because that, that piece on the top of the fins, that's a heat sink. That's going to get hot, so you want to make sure it's not touching the inside of the lens on the top there. Mine is not, so I'm good to go. Okay, next step, we put our light back on. Now you want to pull out the back access for the light bulb because you're going to run the wires through there. So we're going to take this wire for the demon eye. We're going to run it right through there. And we're going to notch out the cover in a minute to accommodate it. So now we'll take this right here, and you're going to pop them back onto your three pivot points. Just go one at a time and kind of push steadily on it to hit snap, 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 and pop into place. All right, you're going to pop all three of these in place. I already did two. This is what it should sound like when it actually pops in. That's it right there. Now they're all in. Lens is secure. Now we can put our cover back on, and we're going to route the wire from the halo in there that's on our lens. We're going to put this on and we're going to take this wire right here and run it through the hole in the back. Now something to remember, this blue and black wire here, we're not going to be using that because that was the one that was connected to the factory chip. We've already replaced our RGB chip right here and it goes to the plastic lens so that's going to make our ring of color. So we already replaced that so now we don't need that connector. Now for the next step you're going to want to have something like this. This is the diode dynamics butyl headlamp sealant. You can use any sealant. This just comes in their kit. So what it is is basically a rope of some super sticky stuff that when you heat it up it gets soft and pliable and you can stretch it and we're going to put it around the ring inside the headlight housing and squeeze them together and let it cool down. And then that will seal it up watertight. So what I do is I take off a piece of it and then I'll take my heat gun and warm it up with the heat gun. And then uh, once it gets a little soft, not too hot, you stretch it and put it, make sure it, you, know, you want to push it inside of there. It's not too big because it needs to press in the top. So you want to make it that it's kind of just below this line right here. So when you pressure the, uh, the housing together, it'll, it'll create a nice seal. Nice and easy heat on the butyl. You get it nice and soft. You don't want to turn it liquid or make, make it bubble. You just want to put some heat to make it a little, a little more pliable that you can stretch it. Okay, we've got all of our butyl tape sealant in the edges. And you just want to make sure you've got a nice steady bead that fills up the channel. So now I'm going to warm this up again with the heat gun, get it to become nice and soft again. Then I'm going to squeeze the lens on there, and then we'll clamp this together with two clamps and let it sit for about an hour. So nice and easy heat with the heat gun, just to warm it back up a little bit, similar to how you did when you separated it. We're just trying to get this pliable again. We don't want to melt the plastic. We just want to warm the butyl up. Once you've warmed your butyl up, go ahead and press the housing back together. And then go ahead and heat the plastic tabs up and try to snap those back in place. You're going to put a clamp around it. Alright, this is our driver for the demon eyes. I'm going to connect one end to one of the demon eyes. The other end goes to the Bluetooth controller. Then we'll connect the halo also. To the Bluetooth controller and then see what it's looking like. And this is our Diode Dynamics Bluetooth controller. This is a really nice controller. It gives you a lot of a lot of options. You got like millions of colors in here. So it's pretty much plug and play and then add power and ground and then download the app and we should be good to go. Alright so we got power, got everything connected, got our grounds, and so we got Demon Eyes and the Halo. A seven color jump right here so it's gonna switch between all the colors and show you all we got there's just seven basic colors but you have millions of colors the app is pretty dope um, I'll show you a video of the app in a second and what it looks like but you get the idea so we're gonna clear out these lenses now make them look clean and crispy 